Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Brenna. I post lifestyle, motherhood, beauty, and fashion content here on my YouTube channel. I love sharing daily vlogs and motivational content, clean with me videos and everything like that. So if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. It would mean so much to me for you guys to join the fam. So today's video is going to be all about home decor and all about the projects that we have done recently in our home. I actually just filmed this video yesterday, but as I was putting all of the clips together, I just felt like it was kind of hard to understand and there's just been a lot going on around here. So I figured that I would just take you through every single room in our house and share with you guys exactly what I got. And what I'm going to do for this video specifically is leave links to everything down below that I can and I will categorize it by each room. I already have some links for you guys, but I will add some new home decor links down there as well. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you enjoy home decor content, please give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, so the first thing that I am showing you guys is an overview of what our living room looks like when you first walk into our home. Everything is very open. We do have a pretty big living room and a lot has changed in here. So I figured that I would start right over here with this table that we have. As I go through the video, like I said, I will have everything linked. I will try to remember where everything is from. Honestly, most of everything is from Target in my house, but um, we'll go ahead and go through everything. So I really wanted a black mirror in this space. We decided to do black accents and I really love how everything is turning out. So the table is from Target. The two baskets that I have are from Home Goods, and then I have the lamp and the mirror are from Target, and then I have um, some hearth and home things throughout the house as well. But this is actually a little jar that I got from the Target dollars, and then I also just picked these frames up from Target. I really think that they turned out cute. I really love this one. And specifically and I think that everything turned out super cute and very minimal on this table I'll also share with you guys my Bible this is from Hosanna Revival and it is the most beautiful Bible I love it so much it has space where you can take notes I really love having this out on the desk because it is so beautiful so that is basically the first thing that you see when you walk into the home and I absolutely love it so moving on over here, I am definitely not done with this yet, but I recently just got some pictures printed off. This is also from Target as well as all of the picture frames. And again, I just really like the black accent. I think that having the black mirror along with this helps everything tie in together. And then we have our couches and then we got a new rug and I am absolutely obsessed with this and it is huge i wish that you guys could tell in the video but i feel like it's not even going to do it justice but we have natural hardwood floors throughout our house and i just really wanted a big rug where you know we spend most of our time just to protect the floor i ended up getting this rug from rugs usa for a really good deal i got it for about i think it was like 300 dollars, which for a rug like this that is nothing. I love it too because of the fringe that it has on um, each side. I think that it adds just a cute little flare and it matches perfectly with our couches and it just ties into our home decor really well. So this is one of the major things that we decided to change out and I am so happy that we did that. So I really want to get a new coffee table but it is what it is. I'm not really worried about it right now. I think that it goes fine with the decor that we have. So this is our living room. So for the dining room, we ended up taking out the rug and this was the rug that was in the living room and we ended up switching them around and I think that they tie in really well together. This one is just a little bit lighter. It has a little bit more detail and this one has just a tiny bit of a blue hue to it and I absolutely love it. I think that it goes great together. And then really the star of the show, finally we were able to switch out our lamp 
You guys know that I have been talking about our chandelier forever and I am so happy that I finally got this. I've been waiting for it to go on sale at Home Depot and once I saw that it was on sale, I added it to my cart and bought it right away. So it is very cute, very industrial and I love that you can see it from the living room. I think that it ties in the whole theme of our home really well. And it's crazy when you get just a new piece like this, it really does make a total difference in your house. I am just loving now how everything turned out. The only thing that I need to add are two more chairs and I think that we will be good to go in here. And then in our kitchen, we definitely changed some things up and this is what I am the most excited about. I mentioned in a couple videos that I really wanted a little station like this just for a coffee, something very cute and very minimal so that it wasn't on my countertop anymore. So I actually got this table off of Wayfair and I really love it because it has drawers. I wanted something with drawers so that we were able to put our um, coffee pods and everything in. I get a lot of questions about this Nespresso machine and I will try to link one as similar as I can find. I ended up actually getting it off of Bloomingdale's and they were having a major sale so I will try to find one that is similar and link it down below for you guys. But the biggest thing that I love about it is that it comes with a milk frother. You guys, if you don't have a milk frother with your coffee maker, it is completely a game changer. It completely takes your coffee to the next level and I am obsessed with it. And then our favorite coffee pods are actually the vanilla. You can just get these right off of Amazon. We buy them in bulk so that way we don't have to worry about it for a while and we know that we are always stocked. We also have hazelnut one still left over. We like the hazelnut and the caramel as well, but the vanilla is definitely our go-to. And then up above here, I wanted to keep everything very minimal. So these are just cream and sugar jars and they were actually only about, yeah, $5. And this is the hearth and hand line, so I absolutely love that. It adds just a little bit. I don't think that we'll really actually use it other than the sugar but it's very cute and then I wanted just a little bit of greenery so we just added this little plant and then to tie in the black accents that we decided to add, um, I put up this picture of Caleb and I. So when you walk into our house, well from the back door, this is what you see and it is very cute and then our, our sign up here actually is from Hobby Lobby and it is super cute. I love everything from Hobby Lobby. So I have that right above the coffee station. And then over here, since we have this big window, I really wanted to add some type of seating just with rubber, putting on his shoes and everything. Rather than putting him on the counter to do that, I really wanted some type of seating area. So this rug I got at Target, can you guess? And then this bench is actually a dining bench and we got it from Target online and I found it on clearance. It is very cute. Again, we're trying to tie in a lot of black into our home and I think that these just complement very well with our coffee table. And then I picked up these pillows from Target as well. I just got um, this plain white one with a little bit of fringe and another one that has a little bit of texture on it just so it matches the rug very well. All of this definitely added a lot to our home. I walk down here in the kitchen and I keep forgetting that we added all of this stuff, but I love how everything turned out. And then the last thing that we ended up purchasing were new bar stools. We actually only had one bar stool before and these are just, I think that they're the room essentials rated at Target, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on bar stools. I just wanted something very minimal. So we ended up going with these and actually they're really comfortable. So that is what we have through this area. So lots of new stuff. I will have it all linked for you guys. And then I want to share with you guys one more thing. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys are these grout pens. So our grout was very dirty. It was very old, but I wasn't ready to replace the floors yet. So I found these on Amazon and this has honestly been a total lifesaver. All that you do is you take the pen, it shows a little picture here, but you go through your grout and it completely changes the color. It actually shows a good photo of what our grout looked like before, like right through here. And when you add this pen, it completely transforms the grout. I mean, as you can see, it almost looks like we got new floors. 
which I love because I was not ready to switch these floors out yet. Just wasn't something that I wanted to spend the money on. So if you guys are needing a little DIY project, I think they have a ton of different colors and you're able to um, just do it and it's really easy and inexpensive. So those are all of the home updates that I have to share with you guys and some DIY things. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, if you want me to share more decor things or DIY projects, please let me know down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up so that way I know that you like this video. I love you guys, I hope that you are staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.